All right, I think we're live. I think. Doing my best here. I think we're good. I think we might be good. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I see Shot Kitten. I see Andrea B. Testing, testing. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Test one, two. Actually, I can see if I can hear myself. Hetty is here. Heart disk drive is here. I hope MJ shows up. Oh, I know what I have to do. Hold on. I'm hearing two of myself for a second, so I'm going to have to shut something off. For a second, so I'm going to have to shut something off. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Test, test, test. For a second. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, test, test, test. Okay, I think we're working here. I think we're working. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hold on, I, I give me one sec. You can you can still hear me. I have it on in the other room. And I gotta shut it off because you're gonna hear two of me. That's better. That is better. Hello, everyone. Uh, Dodger Blue, Jackie Morgan Joseph, Atanal Bob Messina, Michael West, Edwin Van Buren, MF says, bought a new six quart air fryer. Kids love it. Nice. Lisa Remo, Gordon Gott, Jen Down, Ronald Came, AM Coffee, Kimberly Barr, Sharon Heberling, Fly in a Wall. Swag guy, LNG. Sarah's moderating. BZ's moderating. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alexa Fulmer's moderating. Thank you, moderators. Really appreciate it. Calendar pages here. Jet Girl, William, Astro Cosmo. We have people watching on Twitch, I'm sure, as well. Pan Pan's here, Old Farm Show is here, Tina P is here. Hello everyone. Nice Nugs, Squid Inc, Josh Tompkins, Paula Faust. Mick Bridges is here on Twitch, hello Mick Bridges. Corey, Jenny W. Uh-oh. We see a naughty name in the chat. Somebody might have to change their name. MF just became a member, I think. That's pretty cool. Yeah, F MF, welcome to the members. Laverne Thompson. AM Coffee, Maddie Ice, Robin L. So we, I hope MJ comes by, we're going to open up this new bigger air fryer that MJ sent me. 5.8 quarts Kosori air fryer. And it also, I guess it's like an air fryer slash oven. But it's basically a bigger air fryer. MJ sent me that one. I love it. It's 3.5 quarts. The link to the new one is in the... The link to the new one is in the YouTube description. Maybe one of the mods can... Sarah, I don't know if you're over there on Twitch. Sarah, you could cut and paste it from the YouTube description and post it on the... in Twitch, the link. That would be nice. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Oh, thanks. MJ's here. Oh, yay. Happy day. It worked out. MJ is here. That's fantastic. MJ, we're doing this. MJ, there's your cutting board. Look, your cutting board is right here. I've been using it. It's lovely. Finger Games is here on Twitch. All right, so I'm excited. I'm sorry, I don't have my chef's clothing on because it's so hot. It's like 
Uh, it's 87 degrees right now outside. So, uh, so I don't have all my stuff on. Um, if, uh, the cutting board I think we opened last stream. I think I posted the link to that in the last stream. 87 degrees, Poindexter. Kim Zink is here. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to open, I'm going to sit for a second, guys. Why don't I sit for a second? And I'm going to get this box open. Oh, thanks, Sonic. Sonic says, before I forget, be mindful of the inner basket, outer basket release button. I have been clumsy and released the outer basket on the floor. Thank you, Sonic. I'm sure I'll forget that during the stream. That's helpful. Sonic has one of these. So we're going to open this now. Oh, and we're going to be cooking some of the meat that MJ sent me like five months ago. It's been sitting at my freezer. So we have some meat we're going to cook in this. Frozen meat. We're going to stick it right in and cook it. Uh, some frozen beef patties and some frozen sausage. Maybe we can cook them at the same time. Oh, thanks, Peppy the Frog. Good to see you, Peppy. Long time, Peppy. How are you? Uh, Heavy Dangler is here from Twitch. Thanks, Peppy. That's very nice of you. All right. So again, if you're watching on YouTube, the link is in the description on YouTube. If you're watching on Twitch, maybe one of the mods can post it there on Twitch. I probably can post it on Twitch. Let me let me go post it on. Let me let me go post it on Twitch. Hang on. You guys should be able to hear me. Hold on, I'm going to pin it on Twitch. So you guys should be able to hear me right now, even though I'm not on camera, because I have the wireless mic on. So I'm going to go over to my computer. I can't, sorry. I think my mom just tried to call me. This is going to be an issue. I, well, I just talked to my mom. So... I think we're okay. I literally talked to her 15 minutes ago. If she really needs me, she'll call again. Then we'll have to figure that out. But, uh, but oh, she'll probably leave a voicemail. Well, anyways, just, just, just so people know, uh, I did talk to her right before the stream. Um, okay, hey, let me go over and, uh, and put the link in on Twitch. Yeah, normally uh, she, she's allowed to call me when I'm streaming. I have her, her calls are allowed to go through. All right, hang on, let me do this. Um, let's see, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? I'm opening up the Twitch broadcast. Good. Oh, uh, Sarah said she put it. Oh, S Sarah already pinned it. I was going to pin it, Sarah. Sarah, you're a genius. Sarah actually did what I was going to do. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. So thanks to Mod Sarah who pinned it in Twitch. All right. Anyways. No, this is not a new place. I've been living here for like a year. Okay, Angelina Knox is here. So anyways, um... I am going to uh, open this now because MJ sent it to me. So I already have another air fryer that MJ sent to me, a smaller one, which I love. And I said, I like it so much, I'm, getting a new, I'm gonna get a new one because I wanted two so I could make a bunch of stuff at the same time. Then MJ said, I'm sending you one. This one's bigger. Oh, uh, K-Drama says, I have the four-quart Kosori, and I love it. You know what? Um, maybe I'll leave it to the mods. Uh, I, I'm not opposed to pinning it. Well, it's in the YouTube description. So if people, wanna, if people want the link in, on YouTube, it's in the description. On Twitch, it's the top of the chat. Oops. Wow. Wow, pretty orange box. It's a pretty orange box. Hold on, I made a mess. There's some cardboard pieces here. 
Wow, guys, this is pretty exciting. This has a handle on it. There's a handle on it on the box, but the handle is taped over. So I have to untape the handle. There we go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lift this thing up. This is this is literally an unboxing. Oops! Now the now the top came off. The handle doesn't help when the top comes off. That shouldn't happen. Why did the top come off? I think I undid the tape here. All right, here, look. It's coming out of the box, guys, slowly. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna sh get a little. I'm gonna get a little more close up here, and maybe a little like this. Ah. Kosori air fryer. Let's put this to the let's put this to the side here. Kosori, it's born, says Pan Pan. Yes, it's born. It says Kosori Pro 2 8.5 quart air fryer. My last one is 3.5 quarts. This is bigger. MJ says, read the manual because you have to set it up before you use it. You will have to preheat it for five minutes, then cool down, then preheat it for six minutes and cool down. Okay, good to know. Uh, Barbara DeSalle says, the family I live with had a lovely air fryer, which I love, but the lady got rid of it because she didn't use it and it was too big. I about died. I cook my own food here. Great for one person. Yeah, I use my air fryer all the time. Michael Rivers says, I have the same air fryer. I totally recommend. Angelina Knox says, I need to buy one. Anonymous is here. Anonymous says, air fryers are great. I love mine. Raven Riley is moderating too. Raven Riley, Sarah, Lexa Fulmer, BZ. Thanks, mods. Okay, uh, let's get into this. So uh, K-Drama says, I use my air fryer for everything. So before I show you what we're cooking, um, I want to... Now, by the way, the... the, the the basic idea of an air fryer, well, one idea of it is that it lets you cook food to taste like it's fried, but without oil. So like it's like can get crispy on the outside, but like still like moist and on the inside. Like you can make French fries with no oil. And in theory, they taste like you fried them in a bunch of vegetable oil. I actually think of an air fryer in my use as like it's a microwave that doesn't mess the food up. That's what I do. So. I cook stuff in it, it cooks fast, and it doesn't mess the food up. It doesn't change the taste like, an, like, a, like a microwave does. Also, you can make like, you can make, you buy, you can make uh, tater tots in it or french fries. I put a little olive oil on them, and they taste like they're like fried and I guess vegetable oil, but I just fry them a little olive oil. So I can make much healthier like french fries in this than I, than like if I go to a restaurant. Uh, the Harvey Dane Dangler says, I use it as a mini oven. Up to 85% fat than traditionally fried foods. But yeah, I use it to cook stuff. Just basically surrounds it with hot air. E. Johnson says, purchase liners. Maybe one day, that's too advanced for me right now. Becky says, I like the freezer to air fryer feature. Moby, I hope you feel better, Moby. Feel better, Moby. Glad you're here. But just to read you a definition. Uh, U.S. News & World Report says an air fryer is a countertop cooking appliance that combines a heating element and powerful fan to circulate hot air, similar to a convection oven. Air fryers produce foods that are crispy outside and moist and tender inside without actual frying. But it also is a nice way to just heat things up. MJ bought this on Prime Day. She says, I love mine. That's awesome. Oh, Sonic says the basket on this one is dishwasher safe. Hey, thanks, Marlena Martirano, our new channel member. 
Thanks, Marlena. Pat W says, love frozen seasoned wedges in mine. Yeah, I've, I've cooked frozen chicken fingers and frozen fries and frozen tater tots and thrown them in my air fryer, my other one. Okay, so let's see here. Kosori, this has good reviews on Amazon. Where's the instruction manual? Where's the instruction? User manual. Oh, we got to get this going. We got to get this going, guys. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Hey, thanks to MJ for gifting five memberships on YouTube. MJ already sent me this, but she just gifted five memberships on YouTube. Thank you, MJ. I appreciate that. Getting to know your air fryer. Uh, we got to get through this. Uh, I'm going to open, I'm going to pull the air fryer out of here. Let's pull this out of here. Here it is, guys. It's literally an unboxing. We're unboxing it. Ugh. There it is. There it is. Hold on. Let me get the box out of here. This box needs to go away. Okay, get ready. This is what you came to see. Oh my gosh, we are letting it out into the world. There it is. I gotta cut this thing off. Oh, that comes off, fine, fine, fine. We got to cut. It just rips off here. I may have to cut this part off right here. It's kind of like tightly, this plastic is kind of tight here. See if I can get it with my scissors. Then we're going to get into this for real. We got, we got to cook some stuff. I think I did it. Steve did it. He did it. Read caution on back. Caution, hot surface. Okay. What does this thing say? What does this thing say? Sticky. Caution, hot. The bottom is hot. Do not fill with oil. This is not a deep fryer. Do not press button while moving or shaking basket. Okay. Fine. Fine then. Crote has the same one. Before you get started, there's plastic inside. Before plugging in, take out the baskets and separate them on a flat surface and remove all plastic. I obviously need to like rinse it off or something too. Hey, Diplomod is here. We got, look, we got this basket. Uh, I don't know about this. I'm gonna have to read the instructions. I got a piece of cardboard inside. Uh, the instructions say, do not try to open the top of the air fryer. This is not a lid, thank you. The baskets are made of aluminum metal with nonstick coating, fine. So there's a basket, all right. Air fryer control screen, inner basket, outer basket. There's two baskets. Basket handle, sliding basket guard, basket release button, 
Okay, so this is two baskets, and then I release it this way. I'll have to read up on the releasing the basket. Before first use, remove all packaging. Place the air fryer on a stable level heat resistant surface. Well, we'll do that in a second. Pull the handle to remove the baskets. Remove all plastic from the baskets. Plus the basket release button to separate the inner basket from the outer basket. Watch both baskets thoroughly using either a dishwasher or non-abrasive sponge. I have a sponge here. Wipe the inside and outside of the air fryer with a slightly moist cloth. Dry with a towel. Okay. Then it says you got to do a test run. Okay, you press this button. You press the button? This is confusing. Press it that way. Oh, I got it, I think. I think I have it. It's a little confusing here with this button thing. The inner thing comes out. It's loose. It said slide the clear one. I am sliding it. I slided it this, slid it this way. Sit it down. I don't know how to get the baskets off. It's confusing. It literally just says, pull the, uh, press the bat, press the bat. Oh, I got it. It's here. The button's under here. The button is there. It's the black button under this thing. I thought it was this thing. I got it. I got it. There we go. Ah, I see what you're saying, Sonic, that if you press the button, this thing seems, this thing will fall out. Okay. Thanks. All right, what I got to do now is I'm just going to rinse off. Hey, Fear Before Flames is here. So I'm going to wash off, while you guys are watching, I'm going to wash off uh, these two baskets. Got to do this right now. So you guys can watch me rinse these baskets off. And I'm just going to use a sponge and some dishwashing liquid. Nothing too crazy here. I assume you can still hear me over the water because I have my wireless mic on, my DJI mic, and I'm not even facing you. This is the best. This Dawn soap, it's really a revolution in soap. You squeeze it from the top, it goes out the bottom, and you don't get the gunky top. It's the Dawn Easy Squeeze. Raven Riley says sound is perfect. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let me just rinse out this with some soapy water. This is the less fun part of the stream, but, ne but necessary, a very necessary part of the stream. We gotta clean out the inside of this thing, and the outside too. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little a rinsing here. All right, I'm almost, I'm almost done with the outer basket, guys. I am almost done wiping out the outer basket. I think we're just about good here. Okay, I'm gonna leave that right here. Now I have to wash the inner basket. The inner basket. I need my soap.
I'm getting there, guys. I'm, I'm really getting there. I am just rinsing off the inner, the inner basket, wiping it around, wiping it out, wiping it down with some soapy water. We're getting this going. I think we're, we're getting pretty close. But this is the one the food's going to sit on, so we got to give it a good wiping. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. Oh, clean. Hey, I'm going to actually use my sprayer to spray it down. I'm going to spray it down. I think we might be just about good. All right. Guys, guess what? We're in business. I'm going to turn this over right here. We are in business. We are in business. Um, I got all the stuff out of here. Uh, it's wiped down. Uh, Miss Pac-Man is here. Rod Carr is here over there on Twitch. Uh, J A and P is here. All right, Christina Neal is here. All right, before, let me just do a real quick, before I get into this, just wanna make sure there's not any big breaking news, you know? Oh, by the way, if there is no news tonight, we have a very big stream coming up on a on this channel after this stream what i would like to do after this stream um is if we have time i'm, I'm going to try to do this after this stream we have the first ever agenda free tv hats and i have received the samples for the hats so before i you know, officially announce them as for sale, I want to try them myself and make sure they're okay. Um, but I have the hats here. People have asked me for years about hats. So um, hopefully tonight we will do a stream after this trying on the hats. That's my hope. If not tonight, then tomorrow night. But that's coming up and I'm incredibly excited about that because I want a hat myself. I want a hat myself. Okay. That is really exciting. Okay, not yet seeing. I just want to make sure, you know, before I start cooking here, before I start cooking here, it's very warm here, by the way. It's lovely, actually. It's 87 degrees. I got the windows open. It's nice out. All right, I think we're good. Let me just check. Okay. Well, we're going, we're going for it, guys. Okay, next up. Next up, um, yeah, people are excited about the hats. Catherine of Sweden says, hat lover. I am very excited about the hats. Okay, so now it says test run, as MJ said. A test run will help you become familiar with your air fryer, make sure it's working correctly, and clean it for possible residues in the process. Make sure air fryers baskets are empty and plug in the air fryer. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift this air fryer up to the counter and move you guys close to the counter, okay? So I'm gonna take my, the other air fryer, which I really like, the smaller one, which MJ gave me. I gotta get this one out of the way. That's going over here. This one is going to go up onto the counter. 
oops. Then I'm going to bring you guys over closer. Hang on a second here. Give me one moment. Okay. By the way, before you get started, peel. Yeah, I don't see any more plastic in the baskets. I think I got out, I cleaned out the baskets because I washed the baskets myself. So there it is. I'm going to move you guys closer. What it says is, I need my water bottle here. Okay, let's move you guys closer. Come on, let's get a little closer, shall we? Let's do this. I need to just lift up the tripod here. Oh, oh no. Let's see. Oh, that's better. That's good. Here. We got it here. Okay. So Hang on, maybe a little further back, just for the sake of you seeing everything. Okay, so... I don't see anything else inside there. I see nothing else inside there, nothing. Okay. Um, Make sure the air fryer baskets are empty and plug in the air fryer. Okay, now I need to, these baskets, I'm gonna wipe these down a little bit with a microfiber cloth, just cause there's a little bit of water on them. I don't think that makes a little a huge difference, but I'm gonna wipe it down. That's the outer basket. then the inner basket goes in the outer basket. Uh, this way. Oh, it's this way. There we go. All right, I'm putting this here. There's no plastic in here. I'm putting this in here. Okay. Oh, now there's a blue light on there. Guys, there's a blue light on there. Okay, it says, press preheat. The display will show 400 degrees in five minutes. Where is preheat? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, press on. Oh, there it is. It just all lit up. It just all lit up. Look at this. Let me show you what it looks like on there. There you go. Where's preheat? Sure, it's there somewhere. It's hard for me to hold this and look at the same time. Anyways, let me look. A bond V is here. All right, it's alive. Uh, press preheat. Maybe it's a, maybe preheat is like, oh, preheat's right there, preheat. I pressed P heat, it says 400 degrees, five minutes. Then it says, press play to begin preheating. When preheating is done, air fryer will beep. Breaking news, it is preheating. It is preheating. It is preheating. Uh, making a little noise in there. I hope I did this right. It's making a little noise. I don't know if you can hear that. Hope I didn't mess anything up. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. 
Um, after you preheat, you pull out the basket and let it cook, f let it cool for five minutes. It's like a 20 minute intro process here. You know that? Because you have to preheat for five minutes. No, I have a different air fryer, but I didn't have to do without this with it. MJ said you did it just right. Thanks, MJ. So you preheat it for five minutes. You can see it's now down to four. Then you're going to pull it out for five minutes. Then you're going to preheat. Then you're going to cook for six minutes. Joseph says that's just the PFOAs getting preheated. Yeah, I removed everything that I saw. I removed the stickers that I saw. I looked inside. I didn't see anything else there. Uh, Podcar says cooking the newsness off. Driz is here. Uh, it says four minutes. It's probably going to turn to three soon. Jimmy's watching from work. B. Suede J says air fryers are a game changer. Bigger fan, more noise is anonymous. This is louder than my other one, but it's probably 40% bigger. Three minutes. Wow. Wow, this is exciting. Yeah, the win this window is open here. There's a window open there. I have used my previous one on this counter and it didn't damage the counter at all, so. Atenol says, I will have to get one of these. I would like a larger size. Uh, the one I have previously that MJ gave me was 3.5 quarts. This is 5.8 quarts. So again, when you first use it, when you open it, it tells you, thank you, MJ, and I think Sonic for letting me know you have to do this whole preheating. You have, to, you have to do a couple test runs. That's what the instruction says. Connie Fernandez says, currently having my air fryer chicken. It's exciting though. Oh, maybe I can talk about some of the meat. Um, some of the meat that we're going to cook. Well, in two minutes, I have to let it sit for five minutes. So in two minutes, I will show you the meat we're going to cook. Danielle Bowers is here. Seal said, my kids said I need one, but I'm skeptical. I really love it. I love the one I currently have. This is a new one. I, I haven't, Sonic says generally when using, you can preheat as desired and go right to cooking. When I've been using my small one, I haven't even been preheating it. Becky says, do your prep work while doing this. Um, there's not going to be that much prep for what I'm cooking. Does it have, this, is, this does not have a rotisserie option. By the way, I think this one might be, might have an oven option or something. Sonic, it says, never press the release button while carrying the baskets because the bottom one will fall out. See, there's a picture, Sonic. Look. Using your air fryer, you can adjust the time and the temperature. Air frying. Preheat your, preheating. We recommend before placing food into the air fryer, unless your air fryer is already hot, food will not cook thoroughly without preheating. That's fine. I'm preheating now because they want you to preheat it before you ever use it to like burn off. What do they say here? That's different than preheating it normally. A test run will help you become familiar with your air fryer, make sure it's working correctly and clean it of possible residues. Okay, so that was five minutes. And now it says for the test run, pull out the baskets and let them cool for five minutes. Okay, now where do I put them? Because they're going to be hot. This is going to be hot. Should I hold this for a minute and then put it down like on this? On the, on the, I can put it on the oven. I can place it down on the oven, on the stove. Should I put this on the stove top? I mean, it's hot. I can't, I don't want to put it right on the counter. 
Oh, it's five minutes. Somebody time five minutes. It'll be when we're 45 minutes into the 44, 45 into the uh, broadcast. BZ says stovetop. Stove. Okay, I'll put it on the stovetop. It's resting on the stovetop, which should be fine. Okay. So um, it's resting on the stove shop. Now, we're going to wait. We have about four minutes until we heat it up again. And I want to show you what I'm going to be cooking. So MJ months ago sent me a bunch of meat um, from this place called Staple Creek Ranch. Uh, and what I've decided to cook is we have pork andouille sausage. This is frozen right now. Pork andouille sausage. And I also have from Stable Creek Ranch, uh, regeneratively raised beef, grass-fed beef patties. Okay? So we're going to cook the sausage and the beef. And uh, you can put these right, I, I believe you can cook it right in the air fryer frozen. So I'm not even going to defrost it. I'm going to throw it in there and cook it for as long as it takes. This is, this is what I'm going to do. So that is what we're going to do. It's, we're going to try that. Maybe I'll put one sausage and a patty in or something. I don't know if I'll cook all of it. That's a lot of beef. There's more beef, by the way, and more, there's some lamb and stuff. But I'm going to do that. Error 404 says, hmm, do you have presets? There are presets on it. I think, though, because I haven't used this one, I'll end up just cooking it, and I'll, ch I'll keep checking over time how it's doing. It says here there is a steak preset which says 400 degrees for six minutes. The thing is, it's going to be longer than six minutes because it's frozen. Andouille is some kind of French sausage, if you look it up. If you look up Andouille on Wikipedia. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, we have two minutes before I have to heat up again. Andouille sausage, Wikipedia. Andouille, Andouille is a smoked sausage made using pork originating in France. Oh, so steak is six minutes. Um... According to this, doesn't even have burgers. Somebody sent me this thing, air fryer cooking guide. I don't know if MJ sent me this or somebody else. It just goes on my fridge. I wonder if they have burgers in here. Uh, let's see, steak, lamb, beef, burger, it says 8 to 12 minutes at 350. Well, we'll see what happens. I can cook the sausage first, and then while I'm eating the sausage, I can cook the burgers. Maybe Because it says the burger, the sausage is 400. No, it says steak is 400. What does it say for sausage on this thing? Pork sausage, 380. It says 15 minutes. I might cook both the burger and the sausage at 380. Then I'll just keep checking it and I'll see when it's done. How's that? Um, all right, it's time to put the, hand, the, the basket back in here. Here we go. So again, this is the test run that it tells you to do before ever using it. Uh, and it says for the second part of the test run, press the steak icon. Uh, the display will show 400 degrees and ten, 6 minutes, steak. Press temp time twice. Okay. The time will blink on the display. Press the minus button to set it to 5. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, done. Press play to begin. Okay, so in 5 minutes... This is the second part of the test run. Pull out baskets. Let the baskets cool completely. I don't know that we're going to, for 10 to 30 minutes, I don't think we're doing that. So 
what I'm going to do is this is now going for five more minutes. No plastic smell. Arnovitz, I smell nothing. No plastic smell. Everything looks great. Um, so I'm going to let this go for five minutes. Uh, CB3 says, if it's temp 200, I do 160 and add 10 minutes. Cut it open and check last few minutes. You can adjust the temp at any time. Well, I also can check because I have a uh, meat thermometer, so I can check that. Yeah, Darren, I'm not going to... I'm not going to stick with any fixed cooking time. Uh, I'm going to put the meat in there and uh, just cook it, and then I'll use my trusty uh, meat thermometer. It says here that I'm going to look up. Internal temperature for sausage cooked. One sixty. The USDA recommends that pork sausage reach an internal temperature of at least one sixty. Good to know. Internal temperature for beef burgers. One sixty. Well, that's convenient. So when I'm heating this stuff up, given that I haven't used this before, I have this, um, and I can test the burger and the sausage, the heat, the internal temperature to make sure it's at 160. This is exciting. We're getting very close here, guys. Again, this is the Kosori 5.8 quart Pro 2 air fryer. Uh, the link is pinned to the chat on Twitch and it's in the description on YouTube. MJ sent this to me. Oh, Debash Mode said, just bought an air fryer, haven't unboxed it yet. I love my previous one. MJ was so kind to send me this bigger one. And uh, we are trying it out. I'm gonna cook some meat in it, frozen meat. Can you believe that? Um, in just a few minutes. This is very exciting. I have not eaten dinner, so I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna plug the phone in, I think. Oh, I'm not going to plug the phone in right now because I have this, the, mic, the mic in. If the battery gets low, I'll plug the phone in. But we should be good. Two minutes until this stops. Very exciting. I am very excited to make some meat. Yeah, people are asking, does this heat up your apartment? Um, there is hot air coming out the back right now. It's not that hot. There's no hot air here, here, or here. The hot air comes out the back, but it's the hot air comes out the back, but it's actually not that hot coming out back there, which is nice. So I can put my hand right here. I'm not feeling any heat here, here, or here. So it's going to heat up your place a bit, but it's not that much. Um, I think we got about 90 seconds left until this is done. Then I'll let it cool and then we'll, we'll get the meat out. I don't know that I'm going to put anything on the meat initially. Hey, K Body is here. K says I'm going to be the last one in the world to buy one, I guess. K is modding. Thank you. Uh, St Shiniak says your talking puts out more hot air. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's, it's the counter, 37, 36, 35. It's counting down. Floor Morena is here. So in 30 seconds, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to rest the basket on the stove, and we'll get the meat out. Use the tongs I bought you to get the meat out. I will do that. Now, I can't use... I'm going to have to move this cutting board. I don't, the cutting board is, this. the wood cutting board is not, this lovely wood cutting board MJ gave me is not for raw meat. I have a different one here. Can use a plate for the raw meat, actually. That's what I'll do. Can use a plate for the raw meat. Okay, this has now been preheated. 
any plastic, any residue has burned off. We're putting this over here. Let it sit. It's on the stove. Okay, so now what we have to do is while we're waiting for the basket to cool down, we're going to get the meat out and we're going to talk about this meat and we're almost ready to cook. I don't, I'm not even going to put anything on the meat. Alibaba says, nice, nice to cross, can not cross-contaminate by putting meat on the semi-porous wood throw board. Well, that wood board you're not supposed to put in the dishwasher. So, um, and you're not supposed to use hot water on it. So if I put raw meat on that wood cutting board, there's really no way to disinfect it. I guess you could, but uh, no easy way. And, uh, 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 hey guys, uh, we have a chat, we have an... Uh, uh, an Chat air fryer expert, MKDR. Our chat air fryer expert, MKDR, says no need to preheat an air fryer. Actually, uh, there, it says right here in the instructions test run that for this air fryer, before using it, they want you to do a test run of it. So I guess chat expert disagrees with the instructions. Unless chat expert was talking about normal cooking. Normal cooking is just, recomm they recommend you preheat, but there's no, you don't have to preheat when you're doing normal cooking. Uh, not this one. This one, it, it, it does not require it. Um, Cydonia says it depends on the air fryer. Some require a preheat. Steve Max says mine says preheat. This one says they recommend you preheat it, but so it so the food cooks better, but it's not necessary for this one. Okay, let's get the meat out. Let's get the meat out. All right, there's no way I'm gonna eat all of this. Um, I'm going to cook one sausage and maybe one, one or two burgers. So this is from Stemple Creek Ranch. Now, when I got this meat made, sent to me by MJ, like several months ago, it's been in the freezer. Um, uh, when it got to me, it was cold, but there was dry ice in it, and the dry ice at all, like, was gone. So I called the company. I emailed the company. And I said, hey, is this meat still good? Because it was cold when it got to me, but it wasn't frozen. And they said to me, they wrote to me twice, the company, they insisted it was still good to eat. They said if it was cold when it got to you, even if it's not frozen, that's fine. Put it in the freezer. So if I get really sick after this, you can bl I have the email saved, and you can blame Stemple Creek Ranch for telling me to eat this. All right, so what I need to do is I need to get one of these out one of them out. I'll use the tongs once I get them out. Um, hey, maybe I have a... Uh, where is it here? MJ might have sent me these too. This is pork andouille sausage. Look at that. Ingredients. Pork bacon, pork belly, sea salt, brown sugar, black pepper, natural flavors. Onion, sea salt, and natural seasoning. Ta something, something, sugar. And natural flavors. Stemple Creek Ranch. Uh, yes, it is seasoned. This product was prepared from blah, 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 blah. So what I got to do with this is I'm going to open this up and I'm going to take one of these out. Maybe I should just cook both of them. Do I really want to put one of these back in the fridge? Both of these will fit. I'm going to cook both of them. That's it. We're going to cook both of them. They'll both fit. And the burgers will fit too. I'm using MJ's kitchen shears. Did that open or not? I'm just gonna cook them both. Who cares? Let's do it. Let's go for it. Two, 
Do both, says AM Coffee. Austin Gaming says cook both. I need to open this up here. Now, I got to do a little more cutting here. I can't quite get it open. Eat both tomorrow for lunch? Well, I'm going to eat one right now. There it is. It's open. Uh, MSU Kiwi gifted Teresa a membership. MSU Kiwi gifted a bunch of people a membership, like Dunbar Dan and Liza. Thanks, MSU Kiwi. Welcome new members. All right, I'm going to take these out and I'm going to put them on a plate. Which I'll wash the plate after. This is now. I got to wash my hands too. Stemple Creek Ranch pork. Andouille sausage. Okay, here's one. Smells good. It's frozen. I hope I don't get sick. There they are. I'm going to put them on a plate. This I will put in the garbage. Let me rinse my hands off. Where's the soap? This is really exciting. Guys, we're just about ready to cook this stuff. I'm going to cook it at 380. I'm going to cook it at 380 in the air fryer. You know what? We'll just kind of cook it and see how long it takes. Okay, so the, the, the sausage is frozen. Now, I noticed the sausage, guys, it's supposed to have like a casing on it, right? I think April Coco just got given a membership. Is that what happened here? Let's see. Oh, wow. MJ Gay has given out, gave 20 memberships out. And MSU Kiwi gave 10 memberships out. Amazing. Really cool. April Coco got a membership. Beth Standard got a membership. Rosemary Randolph. Look at all those new memberships. Donna Smith. Are th wow, that's awesome. Well, all the, can, hey, welcome all the new members. Rick Hoppy. Were all those people not members before, or is it like a month now? But if it's a month and it's a second month, the shirt should be a different color. Oh, no, maybe I haven't changed the shirt yet. You know what? Maybe I need to. Pro I think I need to change the shirt for month two. Anyways, that we'll do that on another stream. Okay. Hey guys. Yeah. So I have to next stream. I'm at the computer. I will change the shirt color for the members. I could probably do it now, but should I do that now? Uh, give me one second. Hey, you guys, all sit for a second. Uh, I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to go on my computer right now and change the color of the shirt for the second month members. I'm going to do this live. Okay, you can hear me now. You can hear me. I think this is going to work. Let's see. I'm opening this up. I'm opening it up, guys. Here we go. Go in here. Go into here go into here go into emojis where's emojis yeah i think the first month ended that's what happened okay customize guys right now i am going to select a new color for based on what people said they liked last time get ready guys I am about to publish this. Hopefully this works. I have selected a new color, which I think was the second place choice for the people who've been members for two months. But I don't know if your membership ran out and you didn't renew, you might not get the new color. You might have to start it blue again, which is lovely. Here we go. I'm publishing it right now. So we'll see if it changes for anyone.
Breaking news, it just changed. Breaking news, by the way, thanks so much to Sonic for designing the emojis. Uh, it just changed on YouTube. Thanks, Sonic. There you go, I can see you guys seeing it. Hey, Sean C is a new member, thanks, Sean. Thanks to our Twitch subscribers as well. MJ says no news. There you go, so the two month members now have the purple shirts. I think that's fuchsia, actually. I think it's called fuchsia color. Nice, 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 nice. That was fun, thanks for reminding me. In a month, we'll do it again. Okay, guys, hey, because I'm an idiot, because I'm an idiot, please help me with something, because I'm an idiot. Um, the sausage, that casing, that's the sausage casing, right? I don't need to take that off, right? Because that stuff is holding this, the, the meat in? Yes? I'm an idiot. Help me, someone? No? Uh, chicken fried noodles says, leave the casing on. Arnowitz says, natural, natural casing. Everybody's saying right. Okay to play all day says right. Uh, if you take it off, sausage will fall apart. Every, Jesse Friendo says, says, don't take it off. Everybody says, don't take it off. Except for a chat expert, MKDR, who says, looks like plastic. Everybody's telling me, don't take it off. Fat guy says, looks like plastic, take it off. And Anonymous says, eat on. Boy, this is tough here. Wow. I don't know what, I genuinely don't know what to do. Maybe it's plastic, maybe it needs to be taken off. But I took this out, it was, it, this whole thing was in plastic. This whole thing was in plastic. Guys, I already took it out of the plastic and then I got this. Max Relaxa said that's not plastic. Oh, it might be ice. It could be ice. Guy, no, I don't think it is ice. Look. Wash off. Google it. Wow. I'm going to Google it. Should I remove casing on sausage before cooking? While most sausage lovers will cook a sausage in its casing, there are times when the casings can be removed, says Johnsonville. Eatpalette.com do you take the casing off sausage before cooking? Uh, when cooking sausage, one of the most common questions is whether or not you should take the casing off sausage before cooking. For the most part, sausage casings are typically edible, so you don't need to take off the casing before cooking. It is better to leave the casing on while cooking as it helps to keep the sausage moist and juicy. That is from eatpalette.com. I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to leave it on. I've just read two websites that say leave it on. Kitsune Restaurant says, Sauces casing can be edible depending on the type of casing and how it's cooked. Um, If you are cooking sausages with natural casings, it is not necessarily to necessary to remove the casing before cooking. However, some people prefer to squeeze the sausage out of its casing for easier cooking and eating. I don't even know what to do. Let me look at the package. I'm gonna wash, I have to wash my hands again. Uh, 
I don't see anything on the package to tell me about it, the casing. I don't see any special instructions on the package. It just says pork andouille sausage. Oh, natural casing. Breaking news, it says natural casing. I don't know if you guys can see that. On the, on the bottom line, it literally says natural casing. Natural casing, breaking news, it says natural casing. So we are good to go. Okay, now what I need to do is, guys, the other thing I'm gonna cook right, right now is beef and bacon patties. Uh, beef and bacon patties from Stemple Creek Ranch. Beef and bacon patties. So I'm gonna take these out. I'm not gonna be able to cook all of them at once, but I'm just gonna take them out. I think I'll just cook everything for now. Max Relaxa says, sounds delicious. There are one, two, two or three in here. Oh, hold on. Separate the sausages. I will before, uh, the sausage are now separated. The sausages have been, have been separated. These are still frozen together. I think there's like maybe two patties. They're pretty thick. Oh, actually it might be, I think there's either two patties or like four patties. I can't tell. This is like a brick right now. Okay, why don't we, Should we start cooking the sausage, guys? I think it's time to start cooking the sausage. What do you think? I think we're ready. Then I can, the burgers need to, to, need to warm up a little and separate, I think. Uh, McBridges says, I have this air fryer, I love it. This is very exciting. So according to my air fryer cooking guide that I think MJ sent me, uh, it says for so pork sausage, um, 380 for 15 minutes. It might take longer because these are cold, but I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in. All right, here we go. MJ, I have, MJ said, use my, my, uh, my popco, my popco tongs. All right, here we go, guys. One patty, one sausage is now going in the air fryer. I have so much room in this air fryer, it's huge. Two going in the air fryer. They're there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put this in the air fryer. I'm going to put it in for 15 minutes, um, and I'll check it before 15 minutes. So we're going to cook it at 380 for 15 minutes. So it actually lets you just set the time and temperature here. So I'll say temp time. 380, 15 minutes. Start. Breaking news, we are cooking the sausage in the air fryer right now. Set it and forget it, says Rodcar. And then, you know, if I want to, I can just add a burger in, although I don't know if I'll do that. I think I'll wait till this is done to cook the burgers. Uh, the tongs are by Popco. I'll have to see if I can find those on Amazon. Maybe I can quickly get you a tongs link. Popco tongs. Yes, I found the tongs. They're very well reviewed. 
16,000 reviews, five stars on Amazon. I will post a link to the tongs right now on YouTube, and maybe the mods can throw that up on Twitch. All right, I'm posting it on YouTube right now. As an Amazon associate, I am for qualifying purchases. Tongs. Oops, hold on. I'm not signed in. Let's try this again. Yes, five, yeah. five star tongs. Oops, you're going to hear me for a second. At least the sound is working. Yes, five, yeah. five star tongs. Chill dude is here. MJ says you will love the taste of the sausage. So, oh, thank you, Dabash Mode, for gifting 20 memberships. Oh my gosh, a lot more people are going to be members on YouTube. Thanks to Dabash Mode. Thank you. Look at all these new members. Quandale, Saskia Bernard, Judd P. Perfume, Juice Drop, Justin Rochkin, Karen Griswold, Lauren Fell, Stacey Kozlowski, Max Rem, Aja Sims, Slick Rick, William Featherston, Renee M., Lisa A. Hey, make sure you thank somebody if they give you a membership. Thanks to our, and all of our other, uh, Fiddle DD, Gossamer, Pat W., John Jerome, thank you. Um, thanks to Bash Mode, really kind of you. Hey, thanks to all of our mods. Like, for example, Sarah and Raven Riley um, and uh, BZ and Lexa Fulmer and K-Body. Um, I can't see. Let me just check right now over there on if I can do that. It's a little bit, a little bit hard to check on Twitch from my uh, iPad, but I'll do it here. Sarah's modding over there on Twitch right now. Thank you to all of our mods. All right, new, so this is really exciting. New air fryer, the Kosori 5.8 quote, 5.8 quart Pro Air 2 fryer. Uh, the link is in the YouTube video description at the top of the Twitch chat. Um, and MJ sent me this. I'm really excited. I'm cooking this pork andouille sausage that she sent me from Stemple Creek Ranch. Stemple Creek Ranch insists it's still healthy to eat, even though when I got it, it was cold but not frozen anymore. I froze it again. Now I'm cooking it. So hopefully I don't get sick after. Um, we also have these beef and bacon patties right here, which I'm going to cook after. Oxytropis thinks it's fine. Also from Stemple Creek Ranch. Oh, MJ just gave some more memberships. MJ, that is so generous of you. Oh my gosh, look at all these new members. Thanks to MJ. Unbelievable. Thank you, MJ. Wow. LM, Mike Sorensen, Mary Mick Q2, Deb N, Linda Belk. Linda, his, Linda's modding too. Thanks, Linda. Now you're, you're a member for a second month. Mike Clemens, Yvette Evelyn, T. Good Gia, Rob Van Roy, Brad, Show Fairy Wings. Make sure you thank MJ if you got a uh, MBW, Maurice Harper, if you got a membership from her. JD Glad, John Goodry, Lisa Nora, Terry, Corey, Mo Molly. Oh my gosh. So many gift memberships. You guys are so nice. So nice of you. I'm really excited to have this second air fryer because like, for example, let's say there's a news broadcast I'm doing and I want to eat and take a break during the broadcast. I, this is a second air fryer. Uh, a big reason I want to get a second one is like, I could say heat up some stuff in both of them. Maybe I want to make some chicken or chicken, chicken, chicken tenders because I have a little time to eat during a break on the stream. And I want to make some chicken tenders in one and some tater tots in the other, for example. So I could, I could just do that while I'm news streaming. I could put them in there, put it on, and then I could take a quick break from news streaming and then eat everything. So for me, it'll be really helpful to have two of them just to really be able to cook stuff fast in an emergency. Or if I'm streaming for a long time and I haven't eaten yet and the stream ends, I want to eat as quick as possible. Sam Stamos says it makes perfect sense. So it'll be amazing to have this one and the other one. So a huge thanks to MJ. Um, okay, guys, it's been five minutes. Should we 
check on it? I mean, again, I looked up on the, the air fryer cooking guide said that pork sausage takes 15 minutes and it's only cooked for five minutes. It said 15 minutes. Want me to check and see how it's doing? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should I check it? Let's see what people say in the chat. Blue Pip says patience. We're so close. It smells really good. It smells really good. Don't open it. Let it do its thing. I mean, I started when it was cold. No. By the way, if you open it and then start it again, it's not a big deal. It'll just heat up again. So it's not a huge deal to open it. Uh, MJ says, you can bake a whole chicken in that air fryer. Wow. Wait a little longer. Uh, the patties are getting colder. Um, so again, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm done with this, Darren says you'll let the heat out. I think it'll heat up again pretty quickly. Kariba Guyan thinks I said check. I'm hearing some bubbling in there of some sort, I think. I think maybe I should check it. I don't know. Is it bubbling inside the, inside the, the natural casing? Oh, yeah, you're supposed to shake the thing a little bit. Raven Riley says I do it all the time to shake the fries. Um, I think I'm going to check it. I'm going to check it. Hold on. It's doing okay. They're sizzling. They look nice. Um, I'm going to put them back in, though. Should I turn one over? Maybe I should turn it over with another one of MJ's tongs. MJ, I think these are your tongs too. Hold on. Is this it? Which one is it? Yeah, I'm gonna turn them both over. They both have been turned over now. Put it back in a little bit. In theory, the turning over might help because there's nothing on the top, but there's like a grate on the bottom. So maybe it's getting more air from the top. I don't know. Plus one minute for disturbing them. They do look good. They smell good. I didn't even, t I'm just assuming they're not done yet. I'll test them in a couple minutes. I mean, they certainly didn't look crazy burnt or anything. MKDR says it helps because the heat is just coming from the top, not the bottom. Hannikin says flip them. So at what point do I want to check the interior temperature of them? I have my, um, I have my meat thermometer. Hey, Joe's Kranz is here. Yeah, the air, it cooks by surrounding it with hot air. It's just hot air in there. Pat says, I like mine to get a little blistered. Ziggy Oliver is here. It's not that loud. It's kind of like, it's like a white noise machine. Pete and Betsy is here. Okay, it is now cooked for nine minutes. You're going to say I'm, I'm too cautious, but I kind of want to... Uh, Oxytropus is basically blow-drying sausages. I'm going to want to... Um, Edo Surface says, I use my digital thermometer to make sure it's the correct temperature. That's what I'm going to do. But I kind of want to maybe check in a minute or two. Yes, uh, Rod Carr says, you are calibrating. It's okay to be cautious. So maybe in another minute, I will just open it up and stick this inside one of them and see what the temperature is.
M. Oculus is here. Okay, it's now been cooked for 10 minutes. All right, should I probe it? I think I might probe it. I'm going to probe it. it. Smells nice. I'm going to probe one of them. Will the sausage explode? I don't know. I'm going to try this. Breaking news, guys. Breaking news. It is at 120. 120, that's great. It's at 120, it needs to be 160. Perfect. Smells really good. That is why you have a meat thermometer. I am not a Patriots fan, I'm an anti-Patriots fan. I want the Patriots to lose. Gonna rinse off the uh, meat thermometer just to be extra careful. If you don't have a meat thermometer, it is really helpful when you're cooking any kind of meat because I never know when the stuff is done. I use it with my grill all the time, my George Foreman grill. I use it for chicken. Ellen Sherman says, I'm so excited to see it cooked. I mean, because I wouldn't know when this is done, but you just stick it in. I just Googled, I said, what temperature for pork sausage? She said 160. Uh, John says it will cook hotter near the surface. Yeah, I stuck it into the middle. Uh, Rod Carr says, super helpful for chicken or steak. So highly recommend meat therm thermometer. It was frozen, yeah. So it's interesting. I don't even know if it'll be ready in 15 minutes. The 15 minutes was, I mean, it was still cold. I, I, I am so excited to have this sausage. Very excited. Hula JB4 is here. If you didn't hear it, I am also very excited because possibly tonight, possibly tonight, uh, uh, I have, we, I have in my possession the first ever Agenda Free TV hats. Uh, I have ordered samples of them. I have them. I have not opened them. So we're going to do a stream on this channel where I try on the Agenda Free TV hats. And if they, if they look okay, then they will be available to you guys. And I am really excited about that. What are we doing for sides, Dodger Blue? I haven't even thought about it yet. I'm not even, you know what, I didn't bother with the sides. I can always make some fries or tater tots or something. I can make fries in the other air fryer, actually. Should I do that? I can put some fries in right now. Actually, I don't want to get too distracted, though, because this is three minutes left. So I can always stick fries in the other one. That only takes 12 minutes. Frozen fries. Um, this says two minutes on it. I had tater tots last night. So I think I might maybe just throw some of the frozen fries with a little bit of olive oil on them on the other, into, the other, uh, into the other one. Fat guy in a little shop says, hope they look good. I wear a hat every day. I am really looking forward to the hats. Uh, new here forever says, hi, I'm new. Okay, it says two minutes. And when this is done, I'm going to take, te take the temperature again. Very excited for the sausage. Very excited, guys. This is going to be a 60-second countdown in a second. Esto Surfer is here. Thank you, Esto Surfer. I appreciate that. Thank you. Look, it says 56. Now, I don't know if it'll be done in a minute. You can see the countdown right there, which is really cool. I'm going to have to, in a minute, I'm going to take them out, and I'm going to use my meat thermometer, and we're looking for 160. Thanks, New Here Forever. Uh, there's some parts of the kitchen that are not as, that are a bit more cluttered, but you are not seeing those parts of the kitchen. 
30 seconds left until we try out the meat thermometer. That's one of the other tongs. You, you can put all these in the dishwasher. MJ tongs. Okay, three, two, one. Uh, it takes me about 12 minutes to cook frozen fries. Okay, here we go, guys. Ooh, those are smoking hot. I don't know if you can see that right there. Look at that, hear that? All right, let's test one out. Oh no, it's a little overcooked. It's a little overcooked. Yeah, uh, guys, wow. That cooked really fast. It's like 210. Can you believe that? I think four minutes, four or five minutes ago it was 120, now it's 210. That cooked really fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's okay. I, I don't, it doesn't look crazy, you know, whatever. Well, it killed whatever's in there. So that cooked faster than I thought. The last few minutes, so I I could have cooked that and I could have cooked that in maybe 13, 14 minutes from frozen basically, but they look good. Okay, let's see what they look like. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! That big skeptic thinks are going to be epic. Epic. They smell nice. They look nice. They're certainly done. Look at that. Oh, wow. I'm excited. Mm. AJ, says they, AJ says they look amazing. They look really good. So in a second, we'll cut them open. But guys, before we do that, I want to put the burgers in here. I'm going to put the burgers in here now. Teresa thinks that's perfect. Sam Stamos says mustard. I'm going to get out the mustard in a second. MJ says patties. All right, hold on, guys. Let's get the burgers in here. The beef, the Stemple Creek Ranch beef and bacon patties. Okay, so hang on. I'm going to come over here. I have these patties sitting here. Okay, these have now... First of all, i got to take this out of here. Put that back in there. All right, I'm gonna I gotta break up these patties now, and um, just get them separate so I can put them in. They're still pretty frozen. They're beef and bacon patties, I guess, from Stemple Creek Ranch. Um, can I even get them apart at this point? Rah! Gosh, these are still kind of together. I don't even know if I can get these apart yet. They're still pretty frozen. Yeah, it's not coming apart yet. I gotta wait more. Um, maybe what I'll do while I wait for those. See, there's, guys, there's paper in between. I can't just put the block of patties into the air fryer. There is paper in between them. Uh, and I, I'm worried about the paper catching on fire or something. So I can't do that. Maybe I'll throw some frozen fries into the other air fryer. How does that sound? A knife should work? Use an, oh, maybe I'll try a knife. Maybe I'll try a knife to separate. Okay, let's try that. Should I try a knife? Butter knife, pop rail. Okay, we're gonna try a knife to separate these. Okay, I like that idea. Trying here. Trying here. Can't even see where the patty ends. Can't even see how thick it is. It is not prying that easily. Uh, the butter knife is not really working, guys. It's a bit of a disaster. Oh, hold on. 
hold on here. It might be working. No, it didn't work. It didn't work. It's not working. <laughs> Absolutely not working. I'm worried, I'm worried that it's gonna defrost and then it's just gonna be like a big pile of meat. Uh, I don't have a microwave. So, anyways, maybe I should just leave it for a minute. What do you guys think? Yeah, one of them might not be in great shape right now. Yeah, they're separated with paper. They are separated with paper. No, I don't want a microwave. I mean, why don't we just wait a couple minutes? Gotta eat the sausage anyway. But the knife didn't work. Okay, um, what we're gonna do is I think I'm gonna put a couple frozen fries into my other, are they up here? Oh no, I might have to go get some more from downstairs. I have some frozen fries, or should we just try the sausage? I think I wanna make the fries though. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna go get some frozen, some more frozen fries so we can have a side. And we'll put those in the other air fryer. Yeah, this isn't quite enough. All right, hang on, I need uh, 30 seconds. I need about 30 seconds. Give me a second. You'll hear me, but you might lose me. You might lose me as I go down and get more fries. Hang on a moment. I don't know if you can still hear me. Let's see. I'm gonna talk as if you can hear me, but I bet you can't still hear me. Time for more fries. Okay. These are the 365 crinkle cut cries. You can get them at Whole Foods. Um, did the mic work the whole time I was downstairs? That'd be impressive if it did. Um, these don't even have any oil on them or anything. One moment, one moment. There you go. Oh, you heard me the whole way, that's incredible. All right, so what I'm gonna do, let me show you how I do this here. Let me show you guys what I do with the fries. This is how I make fries in the air fryer. I take them from frozen, they're all, they're frozen. Just frozen fries. Haven't even defrosted them. I take a little olive oil, a little bit of olive oil, and I'm gonna just pour a little on the fries. Not that much. It's coming out very slow. All right, that is about enough, good. So that's my oil. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take the, the fries and I'm going to kind of move them around with my hand a bit inside the, inside the bowl. Probably could use a bigger bowl, but you see what I'm saying here. You know, just get, get kind of spread the oil around on them. And then I'm literally just going to dump this into the air fryer for 12 minutes. Try an oil spray bottle. 
Yeah, I could do that. I kind of like doing it this way with the fries. I've, do I've done the oil. I use an oil spray bottle for some things. I guess I could use it for this. Maybe next time. Maybe I'll try it on this next time. Anyways. All right, so I've been just kind of moving these fries around, getting a little oil on them, spreading out that oil. Getting them all covered, but there's not that much oil in here. Okay. So guys, olive oil. I use olive oil on my fries. Oops, I dropped one. Put that in here. Okay, I'm gonna take these fries. I'm gonna dump them in. This is the other oil fryer, the smaller one, but they should, they should all fit. There you go. They're in this air fryer. Put it in here. Take this here. Plug it in. Um, 412 minutes. Look at that. They're cooking. They're already cooking. So now while I'm doing the other stuff, these are, these are already cooking now. See? How great is that? Okay. Now what we have to do... You know what I should do? I should put those burgers. Where does the hot air come out? I could put the burgers next to the cooking air fryer because there's going to be warm air coming out of that air fryer. It'll help defrost the burgers. What do you think about that idea? I don't know where it's coming out there. We got we to gotta eat the sausage now. We got to eat the sausage. Okay, we're going to eat the sausage. So let's do that. Let us eat the sausage that we cooked. It's had some time. Now the sausage, remember, it kind of cooked a lot. It cooked maybe a minute, it looks like maybe a minute or two extra of the sausage. So we're going to taste these right now. I'm going to sit down to taste them. I'm going to put some mustard on the sausage. So give me a moment. Let me move you guys around for a second here. Okay, we're here, we're sitting now. The fries are getting, the fries are cooking. We have our sausage. Uh, I like Goulden's spicy brown mustard. Do I have enough power to run two air fryers at once? You know, that's a good question. I hadn't thought about that. I'm hoping I do. If I don't, I guess I'll find out. Although I could run an extension cord to a different part of the house to run another one. But hopefully I do. Where's the mustard? Goulden's, this is the best mustard. Yeah, so I can definitely, if there is a problem with the air fryer, I will, uh, I will just run one to another part of the house. Check, check before using an extension cord. Yes, that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to try one of these regular first, but I need to use my soda stream. I got to make some uh, soda water. It's soda stream time. MJ gave me my soda stream. I love it. It's back here. It's soda water time, guys. Then we're going to be all set. Oh, I need my fork. I need a fork. A knife. Got my fork and knife for the sausage. Oh, this is exciting. Wow. Did I... Enough? Is it, is it soda-y enough? That'll work. All right, guys. 
Here is the big moment. I am going to cut the sausage, and you will see it being cut. There's a sausage. Can you see the sausage? We're going to cut open one of them. That's the fries. That's the, for the fries cooking. Here we go. Let's see if I can make a close-up here. Watch this. Here it is. We're cutting one open right now. Okay. I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this. There it is. Looks juicy. Gonna try it now. Jimmy is drooling. I gotta go back to uh, normal Zoom. All right, here we go. I'm gonna taste this right now. This is the Stemple Creek Ranch pork andouille sausage with no mustard. I'll have mustard on the next bite. Here we go. It tastes really good. It's really good. Mmm. It's great. I actually really like the natural casing. It's got, it's snappy. The case has a snappiness to it. Um, yeah, it's a little spicy. It's not crazy spicy. It's very, um, very tasty. Mmm. Those are really good. It's very good. It's even better than I thought it would be. Wow. I'm going to put some mustard on it. Doesn't even need anything on it. MJ. Ah, the, the chef's kiss for these sausages. It's pork and dewy sausage from Stemple Creek Ranch. Wow. Mmm. Air fryer did great. Mmm. Pork and Dewey, A-N-D-O-U-I-L-L-E, I think it is. Look up Stemple Creek Ranch. Hold on. Mmm. Time for some soda water. I like that. I, I just bought more carbon dioxide canisters for this. Because I ran out because I needed more because I like it so much. Stemple Creek Ranch. Uh, you can shop online at Stemple Creek Ranch. It's a family ranch. Um, I'm looking for the sausage here. They have all kinds of meats. They have all kinds of meats on their site. It's crazy. That's it right here. Pork andouille sausages. I'm going to post the link. I will post the link. Hey, Mods, can you post this link on Twitch? I'm going to post the link to the sausages I'm eating, and I'll read you about them while I'm eating some more. All right, I just posted the link in YouTube to the sausages. I think Sarah's still there. If not, I'll post it myself on Twitch. I probably can post it on Twitch right myself right now anyway. Hold on. It does, the, the video looks better on Twitch than YouTube. Make sure you're watching on 1080 on YouTube, guys. Make sure you're watching at 1080 on YouTube. That's what you need to do. You might have to bump it up to 1080. I'm posting the link to the sausage in Twitch as well. I just did. Uh, I want to have a look. This is the best kind of mustard, uh, golden spicy brown. Oh, I got I to gotta flip the fries or, or shake the fries. I'm shaking the fries from the other. The fries have, are cooking in the other air fryer. Those are almost done. This is going to be so good. Wow, this sausage is great. 
Let me show you what a piece of it looks like again. Oh boy, this is, this is really nice. Look at that sausage. Look at that piece of sausage. Can you see that? Got some of that mustard on there. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's a delight. Mmm. We partner with Golden Cape Meat Company in Richmond, California to help us make this pasture-raised pork andouille sausages with bacon. They come in packs of two. Yep. They are flavorful, juicy, and have a little bit of a kick to them that folks love. Wow. These are amazing. And they cooked really well in the air fryer. And actually, they more than cooked. I took them out of the freezer. Oh, thank you, MJ. MJ says, next time I send you a package of meats for them, I can uh, send it straight to your house. Yeah, if you want to do that, MJ, I I'm happy to discuss that, MJ, because that would be easier. That would be, that would be fine with me, MJ. Mm. I guess the bacon's in the sausages. Mm. Mm. These are really good. Um, all I did is I took them out of the freezer. They were frozen solid. I could have just, I, I, I let them sit for a few minutes just to break them up in two. Um, but they were very cold and hard. They were cold. They were still hard when I put them in there. And I cooked them for 15 minutes, but they were a bit overcooked. So you could have cooked them in 14 minutes. Wow, those are amazing. They're really good. I got to cook these burgers, though. How many calories in a link? I don't want to know. But this is my dinner. These are, these are great. If I have extra, I'm just going to save it and eat it tomorrow. But they're, it's really good. And literally all I had to do is just place it in that thing. Mmm. Wow. You need caramelized onions. Was it Mr. No who says the hard part is cleaning the air fryer? For cleaning this, um, oh, it talks about shaking food. Shake, shake or flip food once halfway through cooking or more if desired, it says here. Okay. Care and maintenance. Well, um, the baskets are dishwasher safe. Oh my gosh. The baskets are dishwasher safe. You can also wash the baskets with hot soapy water and a non-abrasive sponge soak if necessary. How about that? I might put the, I don't know if I'll dishwash both of them, but the inner one probably. Outer one is probably gonna be so easy to clean. They're probably both gonna be easy to clean. Okay, so we gotta cook these burgers. Uh, the fries just finished. These are the frozen fries I cooked. I, all I did is put a little bit of olive oil on these fries. They had nothing on them when I cooked them. Look at that. That was 12 minutes. That was 12 minutes, and I'm going to pour them into the plate so I can have some of them. Okay, so that's, I'm gonna put these, let these, let these cool down. Those look really fantastic. There's a little bit of oil on the plate, just because I have oil, I'll wipe that off. But uh, those are my fries that I just made in the air fryer. Yeah, 12 minutes from frozen. Guys, I didn't defrost those fries. I literally poured frozen fries into an air fryer. So those, those are out here now. And now the last thing I have to do before we eat a little more of this delightful meal, um, will these burgers actually co come apart now? Will the burgers come apart? That is the question. These are the beef and bacon burgers from Stemple Creek Ranch. Um, 
Will they come apart now? I don't know. I'm going to have to see. They feel pretty soft right now. Oh, I think they'll come apart now. Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know. They're kind of a big congealed mass. See, see, see the paper is like, it's hard to grab the paper. This is tough. This is tough right here. I got a big congealed mass of burger. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's like the paper won't... Oh, the paper is like tearing apart. The paper is tearing apart. I'm going to have to just cut them, I think. I'll just stick a knife in here and just do it that way. Yeah, this burger did this this burger system did not work out particularly great. I'm trying my best here, but it's it has paper between the burgers, but the paper is like dissolving. What a disaster. Yeah, the burger's like falling apart in my hands. Yeah, this is I really messed this up. I apologize. MJ, I messed up the burgers. The paper is just falling apart between them. So it doesn't help me to, to, uh, to, to pull on the paper. It falls off in my hands. I mean, I have the meat here, so I can, I can cook the meat. Maybe it's not defrosted enough yet. Maybe that's the idea. It's like defrosted on the outside, but not the inside. I don't even know what to do with this. I'm at my wit's end. I ha I've been using, a everybody says use a butter knife. I've used a butter knife. I've tried a bunch of times to use a butter knife. It won't work. It's like because it's frozen on the inside. Defrost, put in air fryer for two seconds. I could put it in the air fryer for like a few seconds. Should I just do that? I'm gonna wash it anyway. There is no microwave here. No, it's getting cooked now. By the way, I think there's more burgers downstairs in the freezer. I think they sent me two packs. She sent me two packs of burgers. Maybe I just haven't defrosted it enough. Air fryer for a few moments. Yeah, maybe I'll put them in the air fryer for a moment. How bad could it be? There may be a defrost mode on the air fryer, huh? I don't know that there is. There is not. I'll put it in there. We're going to try this. It's like, it's just the frost, the frost mode, just a temperature. Um, we're going to put it in the air fryer for a second. I'm making a call here. I can put the air fryer stuff in the dishwasher anyway. All right, here we go. Okay, this is a this is a big moment, guys. Uh, it is in the air fryer. That big pile of beef is in the air fryer. Uh, maybe give it like twenty seconds or something. I know with the paper. I'll give it ten seconds. I don't know if that really helped things. Should I do a little more? I'm going to do a little more. Paper looks fine.
Right, let's see. Let's see what happened. Oops, now I have to turn this on. It's still cold. It's still cold. It's, uh, it's cold. It's not hot. But it's like the middle one is still, it's crazy. The middle one is still, middle part is still frozen. This is awful. What a mess this became. Yeah, it's just a big, it's a big hunk of mess. It's a big hunk of mess. The paper, the paper is like just basically falling apart. I can't pull anything apart. It's a disaster. Maybe what I really need to do is like really let it defrost a lot or something. But it's just like, yeah. BZ says, Kay and I are coming there to separate your burgers. Yeah, the, the paper is now useless. So maybe what I needed to do is just like leave them on the counter for like, for like an hour, like two hours and then come back. You know, but I think at this point, there's only so much I can do. I'm going to leave it on the counter. I'll just let it keep staying there on the counter. Let's get back to the sausage. Can I eat something else? I'm hungry. We got to eat some more of the sausage. But that was disastrous. Well, yeah, we're gonna have some fries right now. Fries and sausage. Let's just eat. You know, not everything works out, guys, the way you want it to. So back to our sausage. It's so good. Yeah, people keep saying there's a defrost icon, but guys, all the defrost does is cook it at a certain temperature for a certain time. There's no magical defrost power. So literally, it says in here, um, frozen foods, 380 for eight minutes. That's all it does. The defrost icon, icon is for frozen foods. It just cooks it for 380 for a certain amount of time. There's nothing special it does to defrost things. It's just a pre-setting of temperature and time. And the temperature is 380, which is the same as a lot of other things. So there's no special thing you do to defrost it except just cook it in, that, in the air fryer, in this air fryer. I'm gonna put a little salt on my fries. ESD says let them off for 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, I'll cook them later. I'll cook the burgers later. Mm. I'll put a little salt on my fries. Hold on. So these are just, again, they're like the frozen fries from Whole Foods. And I put them in the air fryer with a little olive oil on them for, for 12 minutes. So I really don't eat fries much. I try to avoid them for my diet, but these are not really fried. They're not fried. They're air fried. These were never cooked in vegetable oil. These were frozen potatoes cut up like crinkle fries that I put a little olive oil on and just cooked with hot air. That's all this is. And they taste great. So I can eat fries. But they're not, you know, no, these are not pre-fried. They're just frozen potatoes. Cooked, cooked, uh, that's what it is. They're not cooked. <sighs> Anyways, this meal is, is delightful, though. I have my sausage. And I have my fries. Uh, the burgers will have to cook later. Maybe once I eat a little more. Huh. 
This is the bag of fries. Ingredients. Potatoes, sunflower seed, and or uh, expeller pressed canola oil. They have a little oil on them, I guess. Dextrose to promote browning. They have dextrose. But it doesn't say they're pre-cooked or anything like that. It says bake, keep frozen until ready to use. But if, if, you just, if you just cook these in the air fryer and you don't put any oil on them, they don't taste like, they taste pretty dry. Oh, also, hold on, these fries, you, Nutrition information. These fries, guys, no cholesterol. Cholesterol, zero. Saturated fat, zero. Trans fat, zero. See that? See all the zeros? They would not say zero if they had doused these in vegetable oil and pre-cooked them. That would not say zero. Zero. Do your duty on says what you put on them. So I just use a little olive oil on them. Sorry, it's actually warm in here. I'm kind of sweating a little bit. I'm going to eat a little more of this. We should do the hat stream tonight, shouldn't we? So yeah, I highly recommend if you like fries, but you don't want to have all the stuff that comes with it, the saturated fat and the cholesterol and stuff, you can just throw these fries in the air fryer and cook them with nothing on it. I put a little olive oil on it. Mm. MJ, these sausages are great. They're amazing. They're really good. I'll post the link to the sausages again. Hold on. Can one of the mods find that link? Mods, do you still have the link to the sausages or do you need me to get it again? It's the, you know, I need a napkin. I need a paper towel. Hold on. Another little piece of sausage here with a little mustard on it. Look at that. Uh, BBQ with Neil is on, in Ontario. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Those, the sausage is cooked amazing in the air fryer. They're juicy. There was, they're, the heat is really even in them. Mm. Canwell says, please hats, please hats. But those sausages uh, cook great in the air fryer. They cook really well. No, I am right-handed. I'm just eating my fries now. I mean, this is more than enough. I'll, I can't eat this whole sausage after that other one. I might have a couple more bites or something, but... I mean, this is, a, this is a very good amount of food. You can also see these, air, these fries, they get brown in the air fryer. If I had left them in there longer, they'd be more brown. They get more and more crispy on the outside, but they're moist on the inside. But only a little bit of olive oil. Because I kind of have to avoid fries at the restaurants. Mmm. Wow. Sam Stamos, glad you came by. Um, oh, hold on. Let me go grab the, uh, let me grab the link to the sausage again. Stemple Creek Ranch. Uh, the link to the air fryer 
is in the YouTube description for this broadcast and is at the top of the Twitch chat. No, I don't own a microwave. I don't like a microwave. I feel it like messes up the food. I'm posting the link to the sausage again because it's so good. But I mean, so easy. I'm going to have to have a piece of the other, have a little bit of the other sausage. Then I'll clean up. Then I'll be done. The burgers, they're sitting on the counter over there. Um, I'm going to leave them out there for like an hour. And then I'll just throw them in the air fryer and cook them. Maybe by the time I clean up the dishes from this, um, those burgers will be ready to throw in there. And I can just cook them and then I'll keep them for tomorrow. Or if I do a stream tonight, I can... The hat stream, I can try them on the hat stream. Mm. Oh, that sausage is good. I'm not even a big sausage person. The fries are 365 fries. You get them at Whole Foods. Crinkle cut. Mm. Um, but again, I'm not a big sausage guy, but these are really good. Get a little mustard on them. Mm. Mm. Oh, MSU kiwi says my sort of meal, no green. Normally with this meal, I would have like a cucumber or a salad or something. I actually do eat vegetables. Every day I try to have some salad, some tomatoes, often a cucumber. I just cut it up. But for this stream, I didn't bother with it. I just wanted to get to it. So I'll, I'll have, I'm going to have some veggies later tonight. Carrots. I have carrots on my salad. Mm. Wow. Mm. This is the 5.8 quart one, which is a very good size. It's a very good size. Cook a lot of food in a 5.8 quart. This worked out great. Unfortunately, my least, I think my and your least favorite of the streams, the cooking streams, is when you have to watch me eat. Becky says, I'll watch for the hat stream. What time is it? Yeah, it's about 8 o'clock. So if I can finish this soon, and if there's no news, uh, maybe we could do the hat stream at like 9. Because I really would like to do that. And I kind of promised it. Nobody's mentioned any breaking news. I'm looking right now. Excuse me. The hat stream when I show off the new Agenda Free TV hats. So I got to have a little more of the sausage. I need to Google with the frozen burgers because I really messed that up. Oh, thanks, Terry D24. Thank you. I appreciate that, Terry D24. Because the frozen burgers were a disaster. Yeah, the Dawn bottle's great, Viper Dave. But... What do people normally do when you get, the halibut says they usually split apart frozen. Um, these did not do that. Mm. 
Hmm. So Alibaba says, what I should have done is try, try to take them apart right when I took them out of the freezer. Well, here's a problem. This is something that happened with the burgers. Remember, when I got this meat sent to me, when the meat arrived, it was still cold, but it was no longer frozen. And the company said it's fine. But I wonder if the meat going from frozen to cold back to frozen messed things up. Hey, thanks, Husky Elf. Because remember, that did happen with the burgers. Um, so I'm wondering if that's what caused it. Mr. Delight says it will break proteins in the meat because that, that's, that is, again, I talked to the company. They said, look, if it's cold, you can still use it. I will email the company and I'll tell them I cooked the sausage. The sausage was great, but the burgers, the burgers wouldn't come apart. Yeah, paper got soggy maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Might have messed up the paper. Separate frozen burger patties. This site called the best bestest ever dot com says you can use a fork trick. That didn't work. I tried putting a knife in there. It would not work. The slice and separate method. Use a knife. No. That didn't work either. The hammer and knife method. Well, I'm not going to try that. The cold water bath method. Place the frozen burger patties in a bowl or a pot of cold water. Let them sit for five, 10 minutes or until they're thawed enough to be separated. Step high, throw them in the oven grill skillet. Let them hit, heat up for a minute or two, which I tried to do. I could try putting them into the, uh, into the air fryer for a little longer. See if that helps. Hey, thanks, Monica C. That's like a last resort. Is you just throw it in the air fryer for a little more. No. Just let them thaw for a bit, says the halibut. All right. We're almost done with this stream. So maybe I'll just let them thaw. So sad. But I, I can't emphasize enough how much they were not coming apart. It was like the burgers, like the inside of them were still hard, but the outside was mushy. It was just a disaster. CV says, I give up, learn my lesson. What were you saying I should do, CV? Now somebody's angry because they think I didn't listen to them. Yeah, can you mold them into new burgers? I mean, maybe I will. Uh, that's the last resort is you just take the meat and you make new burgers out of them. I certainly could do that. Yeah, I tried putting them in the air fryer for like a minute, but it didn't do it. Didn't do the trick. Whatever, we'll see. Yeah, last resort, I could always, you know, just take the meat once it defrosts and cook it. It's fine. All right, I think, guys, it might be time.
I think it might be time to wrap up this stream. Well, I am very excited about the air. The air fryer clearly works. It clearly works. Uh, and I'm very excited about it. It is the Kosori 5.8 quart Pro Air 2. Or Pro 2. I think it might also have an oven function, but I'm not sure. Anyways, this just says air fryer. It's fine with me. It looks great. It's awesome. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about oven. It just says using air fryers. More functions. It's great. Um... Yeah, the Ziploc thing, I'm not trying right now. I'm just not trying it right now. But thank you for the suggestion, CV. Um, at this point, I have more than enough food cooked. So I'm going to eat a little more and, and, uh, and, uh, and then clean up. Um, Seal says, I'm one step closer to getting an air fryer. I, I love them. I love them. Really like them. Again, I think of them as a way to cook food and not easily and quick, relatively quickly, and not to mess up the food like a microwave does. If I, believe me, if I cooked those sausages in a microwave, they would not taste very good, I don't think. They wouldn't taste like that. It came out fantastic. Paula says, I love my air fryer. My sister-in-law gave me my air fryer. It's awesome gift. The sausage came out perfect. For the halibut says, sold me with a fast time on fries. It's great for fries. It's great. Great for the frozen fries. That big skeptic says, they don't heat up the whole kitchen as much as turning on the oven. That is very true. Alibaba says, saw just come out rubbery in the microwave. Another thing is you don't have to pre... You don't, I don't have to preheat mine. If I, have a, if I have a chicken breast that I cooked and it's in the fridge, I can literally put it in my air fryer for four minutes. It's perfect without any preheating. Uh, one of the viewers said, uh, great site for the sausages. If you order the sausages, let me know how they are. Somebody just became a member. Oh, Orchie Dragon became a member. Thanks, Orchie Dragon. Thank you. Hey, by the way, a huge thanks to MJ. MJ sent me the air fryer and the sausages and the tongs. I mean, come on. Amazing. Yeah, this was great. This was really fun. I really appreciate your guys' help and encouragement. I try my best. Hey, once in a while we run into problems like with the burgers. I'll have to figure out the burger, the burger thing. I know you guys have made some suggestions. But uh, hey, ProgTM's over there on Twitch. And Sean, Sean Netta, Seanette, Seanette, not Sean Netta. Okay, so guys, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to finish eating, uh, and I'm going to like clean up, and I'd really like to do the hat stream a little later tonight, maybe in like an hour, because um, I want to I open up the hats. That'll be on this channel. Um, but hey, a big thanks to you for joining me, and also a huge thanks to our moderators. Who do we have moderating? Lexa Fulmer, BZ, Linda Belk, Kay Body, Sarah... Am I missing any moderators? Raven Riley. Big thanks to our mods. And all you guys. Great crowd tonight. Thanks to everybody who gave gift memberships too. That was super nice of people. And the donations, really nice of you guys. What happened to the chat? Where did the chat go? Live chat, there we go. Uh, such as, uh, thanks to our viewers and all of our members too. Uh, Atenal, Yasin Kasem, Alibaba, Monica C, Timmy Tushu. 
Strive Research. Shaft became a member. Hey, thanks, Shaft. Thanks, Shaft. Christina Neal, Laverne Thompson, Paula Faust, Monica C, Anonymous, Fox2319, thank you. Evil Ian, or Evil Lan. Darren Markley, PB and Jedi. Terry D24. Sharon fifty Sharon C fifty four over there on Twitch. Rod Carr, the Halibut. Sharon, by the way, um, Sharon C fifty four mods for us on Twitch on Agenda Free TV. If you feel like it, Sharon, and you're interested in modding on this channel, maybe talk to uh, Sarah's in there now. You can talk to her about, about if you want to mod on Look Nerd on Twitch. If you don't want it, that's fine, though. But I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, Big Ball of Yarn, thanks for watching. Oxytropis uh, for the Halibut. They're all over there on uh, Twitch. Mr. Delight. P. William Grimm. Stacy Kozlowski. Sing Neon. Queen of the South. Seal. MJ says, next time that happens again, just separate and put in a freezer bag. Well, again, what I'll do is I'm letting it defrost. If nothing else, I can just make some patties with the meat and put them in the air fryer. Christina Neal, thanks for being here. All right, guys. It's 8.10. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, thanks, Shweti, for watching, too. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, and again, assuming there's no news, I would like to do the hat stream tonight so we could uh, look at the new hats. That would be amazing. Hey, Bob Messina just caught up. All right. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me finish eating and clean up here. Uh, again, if no news later, we'll do the hat stream. That is my plan. And thanks again, MJ. Huge thanks to you. Uh, this thing is amazing. I love it. The sausage was amazing. I'm so looking forward to using it. It's awesome. Really exciting. So thank you so much. And thanks for the meat. I got more meat here I can cook later. Maybe we'll, maybe on a future stream we'll cook some other meat. And by the way, there is another thing of burgers, I think, downstairs in, in the freezer. I really think there's another thing of those burgers, I think. So we might get a second chance. Uh, awesome. Yeah, Paula says she enjoys her George Foreman. I enjoy my George Foreman, too. Sharon C54, thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, I'm wrapping this up. Uh, probably see you in like an hour or so. That's my guess. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Uh, really appreciate you joining me for the stream. Thanks again, mods. And uh, we'll see you very, very soon.